Hello, I'm going to make a picture using different leaves as my pattern. And I've got all sorts of different shapes here, some with very long points, some with rounded edges. Um, that's a dandelion leaf, which is a bit of a, like a, a tooth mark kind of design. I have an ivy leaf, a fern, all sorts of different things. That's a holly leaf, which is quite prickly. Um, when you go picking your leaves, just remember don't damage plants and just be careful. Some plants have prickly leaves or leaves that sting. Um, there are poisonous plants and you certainly don't want to be damaging or removing leaves without somebody's permission. Now, this is going to be a messy exercise. I've got three tubs of paint here. There's a yellow, a red and a blue. You never need more than those three colours really. And an old toothbrush. And what we're going to do, I put these down here and I'm going to dip the toothbrush into paint and then I'm going to spray over the top. Now, this is messy. You might be best off doing this outdoors on a day which isn't windy so that your paper and leaves don't blow away. I will show you a less messy version, but let's get going on this. So just be careful. Don't spray all over anything precious. So I'm dipping my toothbrush in the paint and then I'm giving it a little bang to remove um, having too much paint on the brush. And then I'm holding it, not tilted, but parallel. And I'm going to just run my thumb over and it's going to make my hands very messy. Okay. And I just keep spraying like this all over. I need to reload and remember bang it off and my hand is already getting very messy. Now it doesn't matter what paint you're using whether it's watercolor paint or acrylic paint I would suggest don't use anything that stains especially if you're going to make a mess and especially if you're going to get it on your clothes. You wouldn't want that. So if it's watercolour paint in a tube, you can mix it up with a bit of water. You can buy ready mix paint, which is already liquid and comes in a bottle. If it's too thick and gloopy, you can just add a little bit of water to that. So I'm just spraying over that, keeping my, paint, my um, toothbrush quite close to the paper, not holding it way up high, because this way it's easier to control exactly where the paint goes. Uh, let's have a bit more yellow over here. It actually makes your hand quite tired doing this. Right, I think I'm bored with yellow. Let's move on to red. And again, bang it so that there's not too much paint. You're not going to get big blobs coming off. And let's carry on doing exactly the same thing with red. That shows up even better. And you see, I've actually put my piece of, because I'm inside, I've put the piece of paper over a sheet of plastic so I can clean up more easily afterwards. And also I won't get it all over everything. So we carry on spraying. It really does make the arm and the hand quite tired. Now do you see I'm just working with red and yellow and blue. I'm not mixing anything because you will find here that where the red goes over the yellow, if it's still wet, they'll mix themselves together anyway. And do be sure you're using an old toothbrush. You wouldn't want to use this on your mouth again. And certainly you wouldn't want it to be somebody else's toothbrush. Well, they wouldn't want you to. Okay, so I'm now moving on to blue. Okay. Bang it. Oh, look there. It made a big drip. 
that's not so, and another big drip because I didn't bang it and I think it's actually dripping off my hands I should have actually wiped the paint off before I started here okay now definitely it is time to wipe my hands And then I should wait for this to dry, but I don't want to keep you waiting too long. So let's start to lift off the leaves and see what we have. Yeah, we're seeing the shapes of the leaves underneath. Lifting it off carefully. Oh, that's a nice shape. This is going to be a little roundy one. Go. It's a pity about those blobs. That was my fault. There we go. And the oak leaf. And the acer leaf. With its pointy fingers. And the fern. That's given a lovely edge there. And a little hawthorn leaf. Off they come. So now we've got this lovely passion here. I'm just going to see if I can blot up these blobs. they're not very nice and then what you can do you could leave it like this if you like it like that but what you can do is you can come along now with something like a colored pencil or even a wax crayon and you could draw in some veins so that we know these are leaves and you can use all different colors and make a nice picture there 